Hi, everyone. It's Senator Chuck Schumer. And today we are here to celebrate a true legend. And I get to say thank you to a dear friend, Pat. I want to congratulate you on your well-earned retirement. Few have ever deserved a send, send off quite like yours. Your years of friendship, your years of mentorship and advice to our caucus and your steady hand have made us better as a party and better as a country. We're gonna miss you very, very much. And to everyone here watching, there have been many dedicated public servants who have come and gone from Washington, but there will always be just one Pat Leahy. For more than 47 years, he's been one of the greatest champions Vermont has ever seen in the Senate. Whether it's standing up for working families or human rights, or protecting our environment or internet privacy, or trying to bring peace around the globe, or so many other accomplishments, it's going to be hard, very hard to fill Pat's shoes. And frankly, I doubt we ever truly will. Instead, we'll always look back on our time with Pat, with gratitude, with happiness, knowing he has made this world a much better place. So Pat, thank you. Thank Marcel and to the Vermont Democratic Party. Thank you for letting me share a few thoughts and words about our beloved Pat. A big, big thank you to Senator Leahy for all of the work that you've done on behalf of Vermont and Vermonters. From your work in the Judiciary Committee to your work fighting for same-sex couples' rights uh, in those immigration bills, I will never be able to express to you my deep gratitude. And that extends to Marcel as well. You have been incredible champions for Vermont, and I don't know what we're going to do without you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jill Kerwinski, Speaker of the Vermont House. I am thrilled to be celebrating and honoring Senator Patrick Leahy for his decades of hard work and dedication to Vermonters. I know that he has been an incredible champion for working families, tackling climate change, expanding access to broadband, so many issues, especially defending human rights around the world. He has had a positive impact on most likely every family in this state, every town, and probably every Main Street. I'm also grateful for his dedication to the Vermont Democratic Party and the Leahy Fellowship Program. We are investing in the next generation of Democratic leaders in the state, and that is so critical, especially given that we are the time that we are in. So thank you so much, Senator Patrick Leahy. I look forward to celebrating you tonight and for the rest of this year. We are so grateful for you and all you have done. Thank you. Senator Leahy, Marcel, it is such a pleasure to join so many Vermonters today in celebrating you, in thanking you, and in recognizing you for your incredible service to the state. I know that there isn't a corner of Vermont who hasn't been impacted, not a Vermonter who hasn't been impacted, not a community that hasn't been impacted by your service. And your legacy lives on in every corner of the state. Your legacy also lives on in the staff, in the interns, in members of the Leahy family. I know you've always made me feel part of a larger community of public servants and people dedicated to Vermont. And for that, I will always be grateful. So tonight, I want to, from the bottom of my heart, again, thank you for all you've done and know that your legacy lives on in all of us. Senator Leahy, how can words even begin to describe all that you have accomplished in service to our Green Mountain State? I am so grateful for your lifetime of service, professionally as Secretary of State and personally as a Vermonter, from ensuring our special state receives the resources we need from the federal government to your staunch defense of our democratic process and ideals. Your legacy will continue to serve as a beacon to guide those following in your footsteps in service to Vermont and to our country. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for your tenacious advocacy, your diligent stewardship, and your steadfast determination to lead with compassion. 
The privilege of working with you has been a tremendous honor in defending our democracy. Thank you for everything you have done, and I want to wish you and Marcel a very happy and peaceful retirement. Senator Leahy, thank you for everything that you've done for Vermont, for this community for the last 48 years. It was an honor to serve as an intern in your office 30 years ago, even better working with you directly for the last 10 years. I wish you and Marcel all the best. I became a Pat Leahy fan almost as soon as I moved to Vermont. That was the first vote I cast, actually, as he dispatched Congressman Mallory to get into the U.S. Senate. But uh, when I ran for the House first in uh, 1984, Patrick came down and did a door-to-door -door in a trailer park in Braintree, Vermont. That, for a U.S. Senator in his second term, was pretty cool for me. And I became the first Democrat, as a consequence, to get into the Vermont House in Braintree. I'm Mary Sullivan, and I feel very fortunate to have been there in the beginning as the Children's Crusade, as it was called then by the press, was first forming. We took nothing for granted. Dems weren't quite as popular in 1974 in Vermont as we are now. Those 4,406 votes, a number I've never forgotten, that the Senator won by back then, were all hard earned. About a week before the election, the Rutland Herald, had one of the second coming sized headlines, poll dooms Leahy. Well, maybe that poll did, but the voters came through and Vermont is so much better for it. The Senator took his oath of office from then Vice President Nelson Rockefeller. He has always abided by that oath. He's worked so hard over the decades for working people and the most vulnerable. He's been a leader on landmine removal, Lake Champlain cleanup, the First Amendment on issues like climate catastrophe and those affecting women and people of color. I feel honored to have been there right in the beginning as I was finishing college. I feel blessed to be here now as the Senator and Marcel transition to whatever is next. I love you both. Vermont Senator Patrick Joseph Leahy. You began your road taken on your tricycle pedaling down the halls of the Vermont State Capitol at the age of four and made your way to the halls of our nation's capital, serving 48 years with courage, dignity, and dedication. What a ride. Your road is taking you all over the world, experiencing individuals from small rural villages to palaces, engaging and photographing everywhere you went, always representing with curiosity consciousness, humor, and respect, along with the best of our traditional Vermont values. You are both an individual anchor for Vermont and our compass pointing true north, committed to keeping the state pointed in the best direction. Lydia and I, along with so many others, celebrate you and offer our heartfelt gratitude and love to you, Marcel, your family, and your staff for the many years serving our state, our nation, and the Democratic Party. Hi, Pat, and hi, Democrats. Uh, I want to thank you, Pat, for all that you have done for the state of Vermont, and it, certainly in the last 40 years since I've uh, been a citizen, uh, and certainly during the 12 years I was governor. Um, you have, uh, I often say, and not exactly jokingly, uh, that you have been the sixth largest industry in the state of Vermont in terms of how much uh, money you brought in and how many jobs you created here. Uh, but it's really true. Uh, there almost isn't a town in the entire state that you haven't done something for, that you haven't been able as your, as the chairman of the Appropriations Committee or the, or vice chairman, uh, to bring added dollars that put us over the top and all kinds of things from very big projects. Uh, to uh, the Echo uh, Center, the Pat Leahy and Marcel um, uh, Echo Center in Burlington, to even the smallest uh, but really important uh, projects in small towns. Uh, so thank you for that kind of leadership uh, and for what you've done for your state. Uh, I really want to thank you, however, for what you've done for the country. You exerted a moral leadership in your 48 years that is not so common as I wish it were uh, in the Senate or in our government. 
Um, you, I, I remember you best, um, not for the great influence you had when you were chairman of the judiciary, although that was very important. I remember you best for something that didn't get done, and that is your leadership on the Landmines Treaty. Uh, that showed me that you were willing to stand up for what was right and for human rights and decency uh, all over the world against all the odds. We will pass the Landmines Treaty someday or, and have the United States be a signatory to it. I personally have participated in uh, delegations to places like Laos and seen what is happening uh, in terms of removing the not just the landmines, but the munition, uh, munitions that we dumped on Laos during the Vietnam War illegally, I might add. Uh, and you had a great deal to do with making that happen simply by your moral leadership and willingness to stand up uh, for what was right. So I thank you certainly as a great senator because you do what great senators do for your home state. But I particularly thank you for the decency that you've shown in 48 years of service <clears throat> to the state of Vermont uh, and to the moral leadership that you've exhibited uh, for the whole country. I admire you greatly and I really thank you for what you've done.